Assalamu alaikum. Uh, morning. Uh, in the lecture of the series of the anatomy and physiology, and we learned about the innominate bone or the pelvic girdle, and then the the third name of the pelvic girdle is called the rib bone. In the previous lecture, we learned about the lateral and the uh, external uh, portions uh, of the innominate bone. In the today lecture, we will goes to learn about the internal and the medial portion of the uh, ilium bone of the medial bone as i told you in the previous lecture that the innominate bone is made up by the two type of the bone the the superior portion of the innominate bone which is made up by the flat bone and the name of this flat bone is called the ilium and the the posterior and the inferior portion of the innominate bone is a made up by the two type of the irregular bone the posterior bone is called the ischium the anterior bone is called the pubis so in today lecture session we will goes to learn about the internal and the medial surface of the innominate bone as i told you the iliac crest which is irregular in the surface in the iliac crest it has the uh, two lips one is called the external lips and the external are the inter interior lips and the the second lips of the is called the internal or the medial lips of the uh, iliac crest now in the today the internal internal or the medial iliac crest lips the from the interior superior iliac spine till to the uh, the middle of the iliac crest of the uh, internal lips of the iliac crest is for the attachment of the transverse transverse abdominis this is this area the internal uh, lips of the iliac crest from the interior superior iliac spine to the, to, to the middle of the iliac crest is for the attachment of the transverse abdominis muscles now in the in the middle portions the middle portion of the iliac crest of the internal lips of the iliac crest is for the attachment of the quadratus quadratus lumbrum lumbrum muscle is at, muscle is attached over here and the iliac crest when the iliac crest is reached at the posterior side at the posterior surface when it is reach at the posterior yes, uh, border at the posterior border it before the posterior iliac posterior superior iliac spine it is a made up make our tuberosity is here and these are the iliac tuberosity and this iliac tuberosity the whole iliac tuberosity is a surface area it is the iliac tuberosity is for the attachment of the erector spinous muscle the erector spinous muscle is attached over here now we will come of the surface of the uh, internal surface this internal surface of the uh, internal surface of ilium bone is called the ilium fossa iliac fossa this all the two third portion is called the iliac fossa on the interior side on the interior and medial side this two third portion of the ilium bone is covered by a fossa this fossa is called the iliac fossa and this whole iliac fossa the the major portion of the iliac fossa is for the attachment of the iliacus muscle iliacus muscle is attached over here this whole area of the iliac fossa is 
covered uh, for with the attachment of the a uh, muscle a single muscle and the name of this single muscle is called the iliacus muscle when at the posterior side just below of the uh, iliac uh, tuberosity or the posterior surface the one third portion this one third portion is make the uh, rough area this whole area is make the rough area and this rough area is give the image of the l shape this l shape rough area is for the articular surface of the sacrum bone articular surface for sacrum bone to make the alio sacrum joint to make the alio sacrum joint and this is the l in shape this surface l in shape when we will reach at the in the center of the just behind of the uh, acetabulum cavity or the posterior side where the uh, superior ramus of the pubic bone and the ilium bone are united with each other the posterior surface this posterior surface is for the attachment of the psoas psoas minor muscle The, this posterior surface is for the attachment of the psoas minor muscle is attached over here when we reach at the pubic surface is at the uh, the pubis bone the body of the pubis bone this area for the body of the pubis bone this body of pubis bone is a trigonal in shape surface area this trigonal surface shape area this area is attachment for the two type of the muscle the first muscle which is superior superior one is for the levator prostate muscle prostate muscle prostate muscle levator prostate muscle is attached over here at the superior uh, portion of this area on the inferior surface area of this of this pubic surface is body this is for the attachment of the pubic pubis uh, rectalis rectalis muscle is attached over here and these both muscles are called the levator avenue levator any muscles levator any muscle is attached over here now this is the all about for the uh, attachment of the and this area of the ischium bone or the ischium bone or the posterior side of the ischium bone is for the attachment of the coccygus muscle coccygus gus muscles is attached over here and the second one is the rectus femoris muscle is also attached over here now on the this all about the uh, the surface area or the attachment of which is are attached on the innominate bone on the interior and medial portion of the uh, innominate bone now I'll show you the some area or the some feature which is we learned in the diagrammatic structure of the innominate on the pelvic girdle we will go through uh, the summarizations uh, on the original bone Uh, of the different area or the surfaces or the process of the innominate bone where uh, i told you in the yesterday the previous lecture there's a hold the the keep the shartic greater shartic notch on the posterior side and keep the this pubic symphysis on the interior side then you can identify this is this innominate bone is be belong to the right uh, upper right lower limb or the left uh, lower limb so uh, the left side or the right side of the left side and we keep the acetabulum cavity on the lateral side keep the acetabulum cavity on the lateral side and keep the shartic notch on the posterior side then you can identify this bone is belong to the right side or the left side so this is a left pelvic bone or innominate bone innominate bone is a made up by the two type of the bone the superior portion is the ilium bone which is a flat in structure and the interior bone is called the irregular bone and this is called the pubis and the posterior bone which is the again is a type of the irregular bone and this is called the ischium bone so 
in the we will go through from the uh, the lateral uh, side or the external side of the uh, ilium bone in this in the and the interior side in the interior border of the iliac crest this is the hole is called the iliac crest and the iliac crest in the interior side of iliac crest is a make the two type of the spine is the superior interior iliac spine and the inferior uh, interior iliac spine between these both are the interior uh, iliac spinous notch is here the iliac crest this is the hole is called the iliac crest on the iliac crest at, at the at the one third on the lateral side or the external side is the make a tuberous tubercle is here and this tubercle is called the iliac tubercle and these iliac crest have the uh, two lips the one is called the lateral or the external lips and the the, the second one is called the medial or the uh, internal iliac crest okay now on the posterior side is again is the two type of the uh, two type of the spine is here posterior superior iliac spine uh, posterior inferior iliac spine and the posterior interspinal uh, notch is uh, internal spinal iliac notch is here on the posterior side so in the lateral side uh, i uh, told you in the previous lecture in the la lateral side is again is a uh, three type of the line is here this is the posterior gluteal line and this is the anterior gluteal line and this is the inferior gluteal line the posterior surface is for, uh, the posterior iliac gluteal line is for the attachment of the uh, gluteal maximus muscle is attached over here from the posterior iliac gluteal line till to the anterior gluteal line this area is attachment for the attachment of the gluteal medius muscle is attached over here from the anterior gluteal line till to the uh, post uh, inferior gluteal line this whole area is for the attachment of the uh, uh, gluteal minimus muscle is attached over these three muscles make the gluteal muscles okay and the and the uh, the just above of the acetabulum cavity at the uh, just below of the inferior gluteal line is a surface over here and this surface area and posterior iliac uh, uh, interior uh, inferior iliac spine this both uh, area this both area is for the attachment of the rectus femoris muscle and the superior interior iliac spine this area is for the attachment of the sartorius muscles now we will when we reach at the posterior side is the, is the greater uh, sciatic notch and this greater shot this posterior border will goes to downward is the make a spine over here and this spine is called the ischial spine just below of the ischial spine is another notch is here and this notch is called the lesser sciatic notch and just below of the lesser sciatic notch this is the ischium bone is a start the ischial uh, tuberosity is here in the ischial tuberosity if you see it is a two type of the ridge over here one is called the uh, transverse ridge and the one is called the longitudinal ridge over here now in the in the middle of the uh, of the uh, of the innominable bone is a QT is here and this QT structure is called the acetabulum and this acetabulum inside of the acetabulum if you see is a she shape the articular facet is here and this is called the acetabulum labrum and um, between of the this acetabulum cavity is a fossa is here and this is called the acetabulum fossa or matus just below of the this c shape you see over here is a notch is here and this is called the acetabulum notch just at the acetabulum cavity or is the uh, border is here is the ridge is here and this ridge is called the acetabulum rim this whole ridge of the rounded in shape and this uh, c shape ridge which is a sharp in its structure this is called the acetabulum rim just below of the acetabulum notch is a foramen is here and this foramen is called the obturator foramen and just up in the obturator foramen at the pubic surface is a is a groove over here and this groove is called the obturator groove and this obturator groove the obturator forum the nerve obturator arteries are passed through from this groove just at the at the c of the 
uh, on the anterior side, this bone is called the uh, uh, pubis bone. And the pubis bone has the three parts, the superior ramus, body and inferior ramus. And in the, just at the anterior uh, surface of the uh, body of the pubis is the articular surface is area. This articular surface for the pubis bone and this, uh, this area is called the pubic symphysis, make the pubic symphysis joint. And the posterior side, uh, the posterior side is again is the, uh, is the ischium bone, is the ischial tuberosity, and the ischial tuberosity has the two ridge over here. One is the transverse ridge, and the one is the longitudinal ridge over here. And these, uh, okay, now this is all about the, uh, uh, of the external and the lateral portion of the acetabulum uh, bone. And now we will uh, learn on the internal and the medial uh, surface of the uh, of the innominate bone. This is the the whole area, the two third area of the ilium bone from the internal and medial side. Is area is called the ileus fossa. Is the iliac fossa, and this whole iliac fossa area is uh, covered by the iliacus muscle is attached over here. And the interior, the, uh, the internal and the medial, the internal and medial crest of the ilium, uh, ilium bone is uh, the, the from the interior superior iliac spine till to the middle is the this area is for the attachment of the transverse abdominus muscle is attached over here and the middle portion of the internal uh, lips of the iliac crest is the for the attachment of the quadratus numbrum muscle is attached over here and the posterior uh, uh, border of the iliac crest which is make the uh, tuberosity is over here and this tuberosity is called the iliac tuberosity which is present on the posterior border of the iliac crest and this iliac tuberosity is uh, the attachment, this whole iliac tuberosity is for the attachment of the erector spinous muscles. If you will see on the, uh, on the posterior surface, or the one third portion of the, this posterior surface of the iliac crest from the internal and medial portion, and this is the make the an L shape surface rough area, and this rough area surface is for the articular surface for the sacrum bone to make the aliosacrum joint. Now, on the this all about the uh, the uh, of the innominate bone, which is uh, uh, we uh, discussed in the previous uh, two lecture and the two day one lectures all about the uh, innominate and the pelvic bones the what are the different types of the bones are made to uh, take the parts in the uh, to make the innominate bone and what are the uh, the features are the structures are the surface area for the at the lateral and the external uh, portion of the innominate bone and on the medial and the internal surface of the innominate bone so i hope you uh, you enjoyed and learned a lot from the today uh, today session of the innominate bone. Uh, so any sort of the inquiries or the question, you can email me. Uh, you can uh, comments in my uh, inbox uh, YouTube channel. And the last, I request you all watch the whole videos carefully. It is very learning session for you all for the in the anatomy and physiology course. Uh, and in the last, I request you all subscribe to my channel and press the uh, bell button. Thank you.